think it. Need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim straight. I lay in the sand line in the palisades. I'm Alec Baldwin with the angry face. I'm Christian Bale with the black on black. Man, fuck these thoughts. I'd rather save the day. But if your man is a problem, then we can change the pace. Mom's is worried. I need to change my ways. I may be cop the crib. I need the redwoods. Rake the leaves up from the money trees. Plant the seeds right in behind the scenes. I painted the dream how I live it. Well, smart and beware. They venom. I swear that I'm sick. I've got issues. I'm sick with these bars, bitch. I'm pretty. Bent off a sips of elixir. Big bro need the commas and digits. My manner, I'm honest and tender. Lay low, not too much for attention. But Ben has shit popping, I mentioned. In this third episode, we got something super interesting for you. I'm going to be training like Iron Mike Tyson. Now, you need to know three things about me to understand why this is a big challenge for me. One, I'm going to be doing Mike Tyson's training regime when he was heavyweight champ in his prime. But you know what? I'm in my 40s. Technically, I'm past my sell-by date. I'm not in my prime. Secondly, I don't box. You're going to see some boxing later. Yeah, and you let me know in the comments how well you think I do as someone who doesn't box. And three, most of my training is actually bodybuilding and weight training in the gym. I do very low reps generally. And today we're gonna to be doing mostly body weights and calisthenic workouts, just like Mike Tyson. So let me tell you more about what we've got in store for you. Today, I'm gonna to be attempting to do over 2,000 squats, 2,500 sit-ups, 500 pull-ups, 500 push-ups, 500 dips. The numbers are crazy. We already did a 4 a.m. three-mile run, which I'll show you just after this. But right now, we're in Kuma Team Gym in Dubai, and we have a boxing class, a boxing session with a three-time Kyrgyzstani gold medalist, national champion. I'm so excited for this episode. We've got some crazy boxing scenes to show you, some amazing footage. Stay tuned, hit like, hit subscribe. This one's gonna be a cracker. Things are getting intense, using up my sixth sense. Thought you had a So guys, it's the eve of the sense. Mike Tyson challenge. I won't lie, I'm a bit scared. The things that I'm most nervous about is doing like 2,000 squats, 2,500 sit-ups. It's hard for me to visualize because I've like never really done that. Yesterday I did 100 squats just to see how it would feel and I can still feel it today, you know, in my, in my quads. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to make some modifications, not a lot. One, uh, Mike Tyson did uh, 500 shrugs, but I've got a trap injury, so we're going to do like a modification of an upright row or a bent over row. Mike Tyson's neck is 22 inches wide, which interestingly, Milo, come here. Okay, he doesn't want to be on camera. For context, mine's like 15 and a half inches. My dog's... I can't even get it around. His neck. <laughs> Hang on. Right. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> About the same thickness as Mike Tyson. So, he's also coming with me on the 4 a.m. run. He doesn't realize it yet, do you, Milo? But we're going to have some fun with this challenge. One other thing I want to say is, Mike Tyson had a, you know, a dark side to him, a dark childhood that I want to try and tap into during the day because although I want to make it a fun challenge, like I want to get in his mindset. So yeah, we're going to get an early night tonight and uh, start the challenge. Yeah, at four o'clock when the alarm goes off. So see you in the morning. Make a call and hit another lit, yeah. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick I got money busting out the money clip Make a call and hit another lick Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it Okay, I'ma hit for 20 off a laptop In a Zoom meeting, making money is my backdrop Ballpoint bass hit harder than a slap shot Flew out my baby, told her me like I'm Epcot So time is just after 10 a.m. We did the 4 a.m. run. It was really hard to actually sleep because I was so conscious of like my alarm going off. It felt like I was getting up for an early morning flight, so hardly slept. And then, yeah, it just seems so weird to get up at 4 a.m. and then go back to bed because then I couldn't sleep again. So anyway, did that. Now, Mike Tyson does 2,000 squats, 2,500 sit-ups, etc. throughout the day. I've read some blogs saying he does it in up to 10 different splits. Sometimes he did it in one session. So I'm trying to go somewhere in the middle, do it in like four or five sessions throughout the day. So we did our first one. I got 750 squats, 700 sit-ups, 
and then 500 of everything else. So feeling pretty good about that. Now we're gonna have some oats with a bit of protein. We're gonna have a couple of bananas and just some electrolytes and uh, rehydrate. I've obviously got Mike Tyson's snack. We don't be complete without one of these. Blowing up the J, got the loud jumping up the bay. Everything I'm on slay. Everything I do is what? Got the bands jumping up the bay. Vibe blowing up my J, got the loud jumping up the bay. Everything I'm on slay. Everything I do is what? Got the bands jumping up the bay. Another milestone, look at that. Paper boy, got my paper route, till I'm six down on my back. I'm an old soul like my dad. My old girl's still a fan. The yo girl at the live show, so don't act like I ain't the man. I'm kicking my feet up, get frank like Aretha. I'm calm, but I'm teed up, just flip me a stack. The re up just doubled up off of the muscle, I stuck to the task. They see me, I'm troubled, I'm bubbling up till it's stuck, and they want me to stay where I'm at. I'm good everywhere that I'm stepping, my presence is crucial. You know that this shit, I don't trend. I'm not sure the exact time now, but it's important we cram a feed in just like Mike Tyson would have made one addition to this, which is some broccoli, which Mike was just too much of a badass to eat in his prime, but hey, I want some vegetables today. So anyway, you'll see on the menu that we'll put on the screen that he was eating generally what I'm eating actually, so no big surprises there, just with the addition of some vegetables. So let's get this ground down, get some energy reserves, rebuild in my muscles so we can hit the next session. See you in a little bit, guys. Unless you talk in numbers, we ain't speaking about the Promise he's not gonna hit me, guys. So don't yeah. <laughs> worry about my beautiful face. No you know, it's promises. Gonna be good. No promises. Yeah. But well, on. Ray, tell me, what do you think made Mike Tyson a special boxer? <sighs> Mike is. There's only one Mike. There's uh, only one Mike. He was. He was. Uh, he was really bad before he got into boxing mm -hmm. and he just really channeled that badness into boxing and became an absolute beast. Nice. You know. And but that aside, it's the dedication. It's the superhuman training. Yeah. You know, yeah. What we're experiencing today. Yeah, what exactly what we're trying to attempt today. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So I've got one question for you. I noticed on your Instagram, which we'll tag on the YouTube, yeah. uh, that you've done a few fights. What would you say to someone who's like interested to get into boxing? What would you what would you say to them? What advice you have? Yeah, absolutely. Get into it, man. Absolutely. Mm. Like don't even hesitate. And uh, once you start it, you just get addicted to it. It's it's a whole lifestyle. There's a there's a whole boxing family. Nice. You know, you meet another boxer, and it's just love. So absolutely. Go. So even though it's violent, there's love. It's nice. Yes, like, yes, yes. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And it's the growth, just like anything else. Uh, you start it. The better you get, the more you want to get better. The more, the more you want to do it. So absolutely, go for it, man. Nice, alright. And like, I am exhausted. I won't lie. I'm shattered already. Yeah. But like Mike Tyson, he has a second boxing session, mm. like we discussed. What have you got planned for me today? What are we going to be doing? Yes, so um, we're going to start off with some some uh, skipping just to get a heart rate up. Okay. Obviously stretch before we begin. Okay. And uh, get some shadow boxing in there. And we got some drills. Okay. Try as much as possible to mimic um, the GOAT, which is Mike Tyson. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of light sparring. Yeah. All right, let's get cracking, man. Get Looking forward this. to it. Yeah. Let's get into it. All right. Go and try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Bend to the side to slip punches as he moves. All right. That is inefficient because it burns up a whole lot of energy. But he's Mike. <laughs> I'm swerving. If a nigga try to holler, she gon' curve him. We came from under rugs like a Persian. We've been staying in our lane, ain't no merging. Rap a nigga like a motherfucking turban. Yeah, these niggas all square like Irvin. Yeah, we grew up in the hood, no suburbans. If I say I need my money, then it's urgent. Yeah, yeah, they want me to quit. Yeah, they want me to shift. But as long as I'm alive, we gon' keep on making hits. Why they steady shooting bricks? Man, it's lit. Yeah, it's lit. We've done the 4 a.m. three mile jog. We've done the calisthenics, it's kill me. We've done two boxing sessions. Now, Mike would finish the day with stationary bike, but I don't have a stationary bike. So we're gonna take a walk to the shops. I'm gonna get an ice cream. Hope you've enjoyed it. 
Let's review tomorrow if I can still walk and if I actually get out of bed. It's the day after and I have to say, I am so fatigued today, I like can't believe that I and Mike Tyson did that six days a week. What an absolute savage. So I just wanna get real with you. I had to modify it a little bit. I feel really proud of myself for how much I did, but obviously I'm not Mike Tyson. I'm not a professional athlete or a boxer. Like it's said that Mike Tyson would be do between 10 to 15 rounds of like heavy sparring. Obviously, I can't really do that. So we did some sparring rounds with two boxing coaches, enough to really push me, but you know, a big small amount compared to what Mike Tyson would do. Also some of the body weight exercises, to be honest, towards the end, I was just losing track of my form, particularly with squats and push-ups and stuff. But I'm really proud of like how far I got. I think on the last circuit through, I don't know how many I did because I was like losing count, but I'm happy with it. I think Think it's a really good thing you know i don't know whether you should attempt it but if you do yeah be prepared for a lot of fatigue the next day so, like so, i did in the last video where i ate like sam sulek i wanted to draw some conclusions and some discussion points really let me know what you think in the comment the first thing is i was really amazed that mike tyson did so much body weight, calisthenics and cardio and still managed to retain his bulk. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you'll know that I'm doing more like physique coaching and more uh, weight training, like bodybuilding style workouts. So for me, like it's hard to understand how he stayed so muscular by doing so much cardio. Like the guy, we've eaten the same, like three and a half thousand ish calories. And if I ate that every day and did so much cardio, I swear I would be a lot smaller. The second thing is the 4 a.m. run. So I actually get up around 5 a.m. most days anyway, but once I'm up, I'm up. So I found it so tiring to get up at 4 a.m. because I was conscious my alarm clock was gonna go off. And then when it did go off, I had to go for a run and then get back into bed, which I just couldn't sleep then anyway. And the third point would be about mindset. See, when I was doing countless reps of squats and so on, I just really had to get in the headspace. And it was really a helpful exercise actually, because we all know I am Mike Tyson had, you know, a dark past and he used to go to a dark place when he was working out. And I actually found that really helpful. You know, I was playing like Ramstein at one point, just really in the zone, just pushing through the pain. And uh, I actually quite enjoyed it. So I think there's something like really there about taking yourself to these places and just seeing like how far you can push it. So let me know in the comments if there's anyone you want me to train like or eat like, and I'm happy to take a look at it. If you're not subscribed yet, do so. Check out the last video we did as well where we ate like Sam Sulek. I learned a lot from that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go and enjoy a donut and a cup of tea and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we're gonna be eating like the king, the goat of bodybuilding, Arnold Schwarzenegger. See you there, guys. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta 